For our worries, this latest storm could bring the possible mud flows where the fish fire burned in Dwarty. KKL's Jasmine Veal continues our coverage live in Dwarty. And Jasmine, what are you seeing there? Well, the rain is starting to pick up, so it is coming down now. And the trouble spot, the concern for those mud flows on this hillside you see right behind me. Yes, it is an area that burned in a fire last year. We just had public works crews out here walking around, doing a survey, checking things out. They even have cameras up there to monitor things. Now, with those recent rains we've had, they tell me that, yes, some dead vegetation did get pushed down with some boulders in the valley, but it has held up very well. They just haven't had that intense rain that they are now concerned about with this next storm. Let's get to some video. Uh, the fish fire, as you mentioned, this area will be under yellow alert level starting tonight at 4 p.m. until tomorrow at 6 p.m. This is the area that burned last June, years after another fire with the same name burned through here. That yellow alert means rain related parking restrictions are in effect here on Mel Canyon Road between Brook Ridge Road and Fish Canyon Road, as well as Deer Lane Road between Mel Canyon and Green Bank Avenue. Now, if it reaches a red alert level, that would mean evacuations. LA County Public Works issued a phase two mud flow forecast, which means there's a potential for a moderate amount of debris flows. I just spoke to Duarte's public safety manager about the concern with this intense storm. Anytime we get anywhere from half an inch to an inch per hour rain rates, that's going to allow the water. The water is just going to shed and it's going to take everything that it has with it. So all that dead, loose vegetation, all the rocks and debris, all that stuff is going to come down. And we are concerned about that, which is why we issued a yellow phase alert for this storm, as well as uh, we prepositioned barricades uh, to close off the uh, Mail Canyon Road. Okay, so back out here live, I want to show you some of the signs that have been in place for years now. But again, they're saying when that yellow or even red alert level goes into effect, you cannot park here. They don't even want to see trash cans because those, of course, can be swept down and, and cause some damage with those big, heavy vehicles from any kind of mud flow. Uh, again, here on Mel Canyon, you have about 25 homes that are under this yellow alert level from Mel Canyon down to Fish Canyon up to Brook Ridge uh, that these residents are being told monitor the weather conditions, be alert to any changes. I also want to mention public works crews that were up here, they have cameras in place to monitor things just in case they see something that they then need to rush out here and, and put in place any kind of evacuations or other uh, precautionary measures. Amy, live here in Duarte, Jasmine Veal, KCAL News. All right, thanks so much, Jasmine. And the series of storms really causing severe damage in Northern California. The heavy rain and high winds taking down trees all across the area. Lizzie Mitri spoke with some of the homeowners there. All the noise at night kept people up. The wind was just howling, just whipping. It was around midnight when Jan Ponticelli saw firsthand how powerful that wind was. My bedroom's on the top floor and I could hear bump, but I kept hearing like something hitting the house. And when I got up to look out this bank of windows, um, Honest to God, I saw the tree coming right at me. It fell onto the rooftop right above her bedroom at her East Sacramento home, but she was okay, able to check out the damage from the outside when the sun came up. This main area here is buckling. Can you see under there? Cracks where the tree landed. Honestly, it could have been worse. <laughs> Another tree at this same intersection of 36th and H crashed through the wall surrounding this home, pulling down power lines with it and stopping just short of damaging Aaron Scott's home. Almost, but not quite. Still, there was plenty to clean up around his house. We've actually only lived here for about six months. And this is not exactly what he expected. Welcome to Sacramento. <laughs> <laughs> he moved here from Boston. Looking for better weather. <laughs> Despite the damage, neighbors tried to stay positive. We're going to be okay. I'm sure I'm one of many, many people. Just about everyone seems to have a story to tell after a sleepless night sparked by dangerous, damaging winds. In Sacramento, Lizé Mitri. All right, if you want to track the storm along with us, head to kcalnews.com. We have interactive radars across the Southland, a full seven day and so much more. You can also download our mobile app. Well, we are following.